remember being in seventh grade surrounded by people with all sorts of hobbies and aspirations. Some people love to draw, some people love to sing, and some people love to play sports. But at, point of, at that point of time, I hadn't quite found an avenue of interest yet. And my parents provided me with multiple and countless opportunities from singing to dancing, none of which I really had interest in. And it took me quite a few years to finally stumble upon a passion that I would have never thought of, coding. Although I feel like it would have started way earlier. <laughs> it all started when I was introduced to the idea of a hackathon by my mom. PayPal was hosting iOS DevCamp 2012, um, and I was encouraged to join by my mom, who worked there. So I saw this as a really great opportunity, and I had no hesitation to agree to attend. Little did I know that it would change my life forever, or just start it. I came prepared with an idea of my own called FoodFast, which was an app that allowed um, peop like employees to order food from their corporate cafe. I expected there to be many kids at this event, but to my surprise, it was filled with adults. So the bubbly 12-year-old social me automatically shut down and hid in a corner. My mom had to drag me out, and she introduced me to the organizers of the event. And to my luck, I met Dom Segola, which was, who was one of the organizers of the event. And he told me that he had just the right team for me to join and turn my ideas into reality. So I approached the small team of father and son, Eli and Andrew Stone, but they already were working on a project. Um, they were quite happy enough to help me and get my idea into lines of code. So we got working on FoodFast, and we used iOS. And I quickly learned the ins and outs, even though it was pretty challenging at first. I tried my best to keep up, and I did. And after we finally finished, and it was time to present our app idea, um, they recommended that I would pitch the idea, which I was really happy to do. The pitch went successfully, and we also ended up winning the Best Woman Entrepreneur Award. I looked around, and I realized that there weren't many children my age, and that was quite a defining moment for me. And to this very day, if you walk into an eBay or PayPal campus now, you can see this very idea implemented in all of their corporate cafes. So about a year later, I attended my second hackathon, which was the AT&T Women in Technology Hackathon, where I won third place overall. I was fortunate enough to meet Miss Kelly Hoey, who I'm quite proud to call my mentor. Kelly is an inspiring woman for females like myself, who constantly motivates. I couldn't thank her enough for the countless pep talks, constant motivation, and endless opportunities that she has provided me with. This is Kelly. So not only have I attended hackathons, but I've also had the wonderful opportunity of organizing some as well. In the past few years, the number of hackathons and college, the number of high school and collegiate hackathons have increased exponentially. Um, Penhaps, MHACs, and Aegis Hacks are among the countless number of large hackathons that fall under the umbrella of hackathon season. In fact, Dub Hacks is going to be held in just a few weeks here at the University of Washington. Hackathon season runs all year long and is largely fueled by institutions such as Major League Hacking, Angel Hack, Startup Weekend, AT&T, Student R&D, and Code Day, just to name a few. This last March, I was an organizer for HS Hacks, which was a hackathon for high schoolers, and it, there were over 700 participants all over the world. I had responsibilities from budgeting resources, contacting sponsors, and making sure that the event was running smoothly. And being an organizer um, led to a whole new opportunity, which was actually judging a hackathon and judging all of the demos at the hackathon. I was invited to be a judge at Angel Hack itself. And Angel Hack is the world's largest series of hackathons all around the world. And I was a judge at Angel Hack Silicon Valley. I couldn't have been more excited and thankful towards the people that helped me get there. Going behind the scenes for the first time was quite an eye-opening experience, and one that has opened many, many doors for me in the future. So a lot goes into these events, but the impact they have on those who attend and the world is huge. But who are hackers? Do they go to hackathons to gather around and hack people's Facebook accounts and try to crack their passwords? I mean, that's what hacking is, right? <laughs> you might think of a hacker being someone like this <laughs> or this. But don't worry, it's not that kind of hacking. We don't hack into your school's databases and change your grades or breach the Pentagon, or secretly read your text messages. Isn't that what the NSA is for? 
According to Wikipedia, the word hackathon is a portmanteau of the words hack and marathon, where hack is used in the sense of building constructive software, not its alternative meaning as a reference to a computer crime. Hackathons are much like a marathon or a walkathon. It can run anywhere from 24 to 48 hours with the purpose of building a working prototype of your idea from start to finish. People from all over the country gather around and pitch their ideas and thoughts. Their products range from hardware hacks to mobile apps, as well as websites. Some end up not being that great, but others can revolutionize our daily lives. Towards the end of the hackathon, the teams are evaluated by a group of judges who pick out the ideas that are most revolutionary, or as we like to say in Silicon Valley, disruptive. Many notable projects have arised from hackathons, one being the Facebook like button at an internal Facebook hackathon, as well as GroupMe, which was acquired by Skype for $50 million. So by attending hackathons, you open yourself to an endless stream of opportunities, ranging from expanding your business network to gaining the necessary skill sets you need to start your own company. Attending these events have provided me with multiple opportunities, as well as meeting my role, model, role models, Melissa Mayer, who's the CEO of Yahoo, as well as Brian, the CEO of Intel, to meeting inspiring students my age who have all sorts of stories of their own to share. Additionally, you're provided with multiple opportunities to give back to your, to your community and create a big impact. For example, BattleHack runs hackathons worldwide, all with the purpose of giving back and creating a change in society. Similarly, Code for India, a nonprofit organization based in Bangalore, India, with offices in Mountain View, are dedicated to inspiring millions of tech enthusiasts to volunteer their time and talent to give back to their communities, as well as developing the world. They host hackathons once or twice a year, and the, attendance, the attendees of which stick around and meet up every weekend to contribute a project that they have been working on. I personally am one of the project managers for um, the project which is Women's Safety and Empowerment, which I came up with the idea of Safe Route, and it's currently being used in India by millions of women at this day. So these are just some of the countless opportunities that a hackathon can provide for any one of you. The endless caffeine, Google searches, and profusion of sleepless nights combined with interacting with peers who share the same interests all contribute to the beauty of a hackathon. Not only have I become a better coder and created countless friendships, but my communication skills have also changed drastically. I remember stuttering on stage, but here I am talking to hundreds of people. It's surprising how much attending a hackathon um, you can, you can gain a ton of real world experience. And it's just something you simply can't learn by attending school. So I hope I've inspired the world changer in you to attend a local hackathon and dive into the world of competitive coding. In a world run by code, one thing's for sure. Hackathons will play a large role in shaping our future, one semicolon at a time. Thank you.